Today, service workers at Seattle Tacoma International Airport joining a cross country rally to demand Congress to help them get better working conditions and benefits. This day of action is taking place at 15 airports in the U.S. Fox 13's Dan Griffin live at SeaTac with a closer look at why they say this is necessary now. Dan. Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, so you know, these workers are saying that it's really difficult for them to get affordable health care at this point. And beyond that, they're also struggling with the amount of money that they're making, and they really need more pay to make ends meet here. So that's why these union workers say that they are calling on Congress to pass the Good Jobs for Good Airports Act. We're talking about baggage handlers, cabin cleaners, wheelchair attendants, and others. The Service Employees International Union says they've been denied livable wages, benefits, and good health care, and they want to uplift the workforce, including black and brown workers they say are often holding the lowest, lowest paying jobs. Now they say the Good Airports Act includes a minimum wage and stronger benefits for airports that receive project grants. All of this is really coming at a time when they say they've worked through the pandemic and COVID, flu and RSV are a big concern now. So the union says a summer survey revealed about 33% of these workers are on Medicaid and 27% are uninsured. And organizers with the union say these rallies are planned at airports across the country that control 45% of all U.S. domestic air travel and 65% of U.S. travel through major hubs. Now, airport officials say this day of action, as they're calling it, will not interrupt operations and is made of people who are not on the clock. Again, this rally is set to start at 1230 today here at SeaTac. And we're told this union, by the way, represents more than 2 million workers all over the country. We're live here at SeaTac. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.